All right, shalom, shalom, Akim. All right, before we get started, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Kadash. I think it double honors to my apostles and elders, a great Muslim who rule well and taught us the truth according to the Bible. And shalom to all the brothers out there throughout the fold, because they're pushing this word in our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom, brother Kazatba. Shemar War. And we just come back with another quick lesson. Dude, it's been probably Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And this is going to be a continuation um, in. Um, the book of Proverbs, chapter 16. Uh, the first video that we did um, regarding this chapter we uh, was in verses 1 through 7. So now in the spirit, we're just going to go from verses 8 to 14. You know, breaking down these scriptures, man. You know, for the hopeful elect, you know, Lord's will be a part of that number. So we get some better understandings, okay? You know, and so you can keep the wisdom of your how about Shemel Shai with you and apply it in your life. So, so go ahead, bro. All right. <clears throat> this is a... Uh... This is Proverbs 16, verse 8. Mm -hmm. Better is it, it's like it better is a little with righteousness than great revenue without right. I mean, without right. That's right. You know, so better is to but have nothing, you know, damn near nothing. And what, but you, what, your heart or Hebrew word law, which means your mind, is upright with the Lord. Okay. You know, your mind is towards you. How about Shemuel Shai? You have a little bit of uh, substance, so to speak. Okay, you're better off that than someone who has great substance. All right, and it, it doesn't live a righteous life. Okay, uh, matter of fact, go to the NLT and read that, brother. Proverbs sixteen and eight yep. in the NLT. Yep. Better to have little with godliness. Well, little with godliness. You know, and that's what really ultimately what brothers have. You know, because scripture calls the poor. And we have little in this world, you know, but what? We have godliness through the spirit and prayer of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, the word he calls God in Jesus Christ. Okay? You know, as a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American, all right, so-called, you know, it's better for you to have nothing in this world but what? Be, uh, you know, uh, righteous, you know, following Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, the word he calls God in Jesus Christ to the best of your ability than it is to what, bro? Than to be rich and dishonest. To be rich and a liar. Okay? So it's better for you to what? Have this truth. Okay? Have a little bit in your life. Very few things. All right? And follow the Lord in sincerity and truth. That better than is to what? Have riches and be a liar. Okay? Because the Lord hates liars. Okay? You know? So what? That means ultimately if you keep on being that liar, that deceiver, you're going to be destroyed. Okay? You know? Keep reading, bro. <clears throat> Verse 9. A man's heart divides of his way. And that's in KJV, right? Kind. Kind. So just going back to the KJV, just verse 9, read it again, bro. It says, a man's heart divides of his way. But So a man's heart divides of, okay, which means to come up with, to, to plot or scheme, okay? You know? Because divides of, uh, I believe, you know, the root word of that is device, you know? So you, when you're devising something... You know, you're you're coming up with a wicked thought or an idea because the word device goes into ideas or thoughts. Okay? Yeah. Know. Quick definition. Kind. Uh, definition for device, verb, to form in the mind by new combinations or applications of ideas or principles. Yeah, so that's, yeah, it goes back to devices. Okay, because device is what? An evil plan or purpose. All right, so read the, a scripture from the top again. This is, uh... Proverbs 16 and 9. A man's heart deviseth his way. But deviseth his way. Okay? That word way goes into your actions or your conduct. So, so a man's heart, his mind, you know, comes up with this wicked plan to do certain wicked actions. Okay? You know? Alright? The Lord is giving you game on how, how the, the mindset of man is. Okay? This is why we need to pray to the Lord that we rely, we rely and lean upon him. Because naturally, your mind is desperately wicked, as the scriptures say, man. Okay? All right. It says, <clears throat> but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh directed his steps. But the Lord directs his steps. All right. And let's talk about the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay? And the Lord is directing our steps into righteousness. But also, the Lord, because we were earlier in the chapter in our last video, that the Lord is the one that controls your ways. Okay? And your thoughts. So if you're thinking righteously and you do righteously, that was the Lord that had it. If you're thinking wickedly and did wickedly, that was the Lord that had it. If a wicked thought comes to your mind and you rebuke it and you fall, still follow after the Lord, 
It was the Lord that did that. Okay? You know? This is all from me. How old by Shabbat Shalom. The Lord controls all these things. We just got to pray that we be a part of the elect, the, the, the ones that are obedient in these times to come. Can you read it, bro? A divine sentence is in the lips of the king. But a devised word sentence, man. You know? Wise sayings should be in the mouth of a leader. Because the king is a leader. Okay? And that's what we have through the Spirit of Yahweh Shema El Shai, starting off with our Apostle Elza, Great Millstone. They're always constantly speaking wise words to their brothers. All right? Because what? They're over the sheep right now. You know, those are men that we look at as leaders. Okay? Keep reading. A divine sentence is in the lips of the king, but it's like it. <clears throat> His mouth transgressive not in judgment. Can I, can I read it one more time from the top? It says, A divine sentence is is in the lips of the king. What was that? I just said a divine, okay, from the heavens, okay? All right, so when the leaders of our people, start out with apostles, that was a great millstone, all right, when they give an order down, it's really coming from your howl by Shemiah was shy. It said divine, okay? Can you read it? It says a divine sentence is in the, is in the lips of the king. Mm -hmm. His mouth transgressive not in judgment. Why does his mouth transgressive not? Because he speaks the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. As a matter of fact, he get the scripture, you know, um, he should be justified. You know, I believe that's in, um, it might be in Romans and stuff. If not, I think it's in Thessalonians. But it says, basically, I'm paraphrasing my brother, get it, you know, that, you know, if if you serve Yahweh by Shemel Shai, that you ought to, you know, uh, keep his word, one, and you're supposed to be teaching the right thing, but uh, it's like, yeah, we might just have to get it, bro. If you can find it, yeah, because yeah, that's that's a good scripture right there to go right with it. Find it, no, go 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 back and we'll read that and the Lord will pop up in my mind. This is uh, Proverbs 16 and 10. A divine sentence is in the lips of the king. Mm -hmm. His mouth transgressive not in judgment. That's right. His mouth transgressive not in judgment. Okay. Because what? He spoke things of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's where, you know, you can look up for um, by thy words you should be justified. And by the words that should be condemned. Okay. The ones that are going to be justified are not speaking of their own words. Okay. But the ones that are going to be condemned are speaking of their own words is vain and, and never going to come to pass. Okay? So the Lord's will be a part of the elect that our words are justified, you know, because we're speaking the words of Yahweh by Shemiel Shai. You find it? Yeah. Okay. It's Matthew 12 and 37. Okay, Matthew, yep. It says, For by the word, yeah, for by thy words thou shalt be justified. Mm -hmm, by thy words. Okay, you should be justified. How are we going to be justified in our words? Because our words match up with the scriptures, what the Lord was saying. So ultimately, ultimately it was his words. Okay, it wasn't really us. It was, it was really him. All right, he's always justified. All right, can you read? And by thy words, thou shalt be condemned. And by thy words, thou shalt be condemned. He's got other people not tuning into the frequency of Yahweh by Shema All right, being on the same, same energy. Or wavelength, as some people like to say. Okay. And guess what? They're all off and doing the bomb little things. So the Lord is not going to protect them in these times. Okay. We want protection from you. How about Shemel Shai? And it comes with obedience from the Lord. Go back and read that, bro. This is uh, Proverbs 16 and 10. Mm -hmm. A divine sentence is <clears throat> in the lips of the king. Mm -hmm. His mouth transgressive, not in judgment. That's right. Transgressive, not in judgment, meaning they're going to make the right decisions in the spirit. Okay? And it's, that's talk about the elect of the nation of Israel. All right? Can you read it? It says, verse 11, a just weight and balance are Yahweh Bashim, I mean, are the, are the Lord's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know what? So, uh, you know, a just weight. And so, what else, bro? It says, all the weight of the bag. Or his work. Mm -hmm. It says, It is an abomination to kings to commit wickedness, for the throne is established by the righteousness. That's right. So, what is it's, uh, 
it's a shame for a king to go off and and do such wickedness because we all know through the spirit according to the scriptures if you do righteousness you're going to be established you're going to be brought up you're going to be built up you know so you can teach the lord's people and show them the right way you know to to turn back to yahweh by shem al shine that's what brothers are doing throughout the four corners of the earth but you got people who walk by and don't listen so now that blood is on them instead of that you know blood in our, our hands because we told you so all right keep reading verse 13 righteous lips are <clears throat> righteous lips are the delight of kings mm -hmm. and they love him that speaketh right no it's a, and a great example was daniel okay daniel was made president over the all the land of persia at the time with the persians and medes okay you know but he was made president because he was honest you know, he was he was faithful to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, first and foremost. And he was an honest man. Okay? So he told you the truth. Plus, the Lord gifted this man with the, uh, interpretations, okay, of dreams. Yeah. You know? So the Lord really blessed this man. And he was obedient to the will of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Okay? You know? But you go into scriptures, it always talks about the man who didn't want to hearken unto the spirit. And guess what? They were judged horribly. Okay? That's why we started off with this, you know, this, the first scripture, you know? Which was, um, verse 8. Read verse 8 one more time, bro. It says, Proverbs 16 and 8. Better is little with righteousness. It said, better is little with righteousness. Even if you have a little bit of knowledge, this is, that's better for you than a man that has all these scriptures and precepts backed up in his mind, but he's not applying them. Okay? You, you, we we want to apply these scriptures so Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai can have mercy on us, man. Because the Lord said, don't just be a hearer of the word, but be a doer also. Okay? You know, don't just hear this word and listen, but actually put forth the effort in this word. Okay. Uh, go back to verse um, 11. It's 13. Oh, 13. Okay. Go ahead. It says, Proverbs 16 and 13. Righteous lips are in the box. Righteous lips are the delight of kings. It's, a, it's the delight of kings. Kings love a righteous man. Okay. And we saw with what? Nebuchadnezzar and, and, and um, Daniel. He loved Daniel, man. To, well, he didn't want to throw him in the lion's den, but he was forced to by his people. Okay? And they love him that speaketh right. They love him that speaketh right. And ultimately in the earth, after, you know, Lord Yahweh Shai returns and the 144,000, you know, that ruling body comes down from the chariots, you know, uh, after, you know, they're beamed up and, uh, you know, order established on the earth. Ultimately, everybody's going to love us because why? We have the... Lost that commandments written in our inward parts, man. Okay, everything is gonna be just flowing in the spirit. Okay, and the whole earth is gonna love us because we're the little dwelling with the wisdom, with wisdom from Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh is in us. All right, can we read it? Verse fourteen: The wrath of <clears throat> the wrath of a king is the mess. Slacky. Proverbs sixteen fourteen: The wrath of a king is as messengers of death mm -hmm. it was a, the wrath of the king oh who's the ultimate king yeah how about shmi all right but the wrath of the king you know when he's angry okay with you his message is as death angels man okay so if you don't want to hearken unto these words hey that angel is giving you uh giving you a mark on your forehead what for for destruction all right and those that are taking heed guess what that mark is gonna give it what for the exemption from judgment that the why I right, read that one more time, bro. That's beautiful. Proverbs 16 and 14. Mm -hmm. The wrath of a king is as messengers of death, mm -hmm. but a wise man will pacify it. That's right. A wise man will pacify it. And how do you pacify, so to speak, the Lord or appease the Lord? Because pacify going to someone who appeases you. Okay. How do you appease your by Shemel Shai by being an obedient child okay being an obedient son or daughter of yahweh by shmiel shai taking heed to the spirit seeing what you got to change about yourself see what the lord is trying to tell you being humble all these things encompass encompass that man all right so if you want that mercy shown upon you you got to take heed to this word as quickly as possible talk to you so-called negroes latinos native americans man all right in the israelite foreigners that look like the other heathen nations but line go back to abraham isaac and jacob turn back okay so you can receive that grace from Yahweh by Shemel Shai, man. Okay, especially when all hell breaks. Let's read that one more time, bro, in the spirit. This is uh, Proverbs 16 and 14. Uh -huh. The wrath of a king 
is as messengers of death. Well, the wrath of the king is as messengers of death. When the Lord's angry, he's going to send them death angels after you, man. Okay? After that, it's too late. Can you read it? But a, man, but a wise man will pacify it. But the wise man or who fears Yahweh by Shemel Shai is going to pacify what, the anger of the Lord because now he's turning back unto Yahweh by Shemel Shai. So now the Lord is going to what? Blot out all his sins. Okay? And that's what we want to be. Lords will be a part of the elect. We want the Lord to blot out our transgressions, all of our sins, and have us with a clean slate when we are presented before him. Okay? We don't want to be guilty of all these crimes because the Lord is judging people out here, man. Okay? He's the ultimate judge. All right? And that was 14, right, brother? Okay. All right, you know? So, you know, just like I said, we just want to get this for the brothers and a few sisters also that listen, you know, going into these scriptures and, you know, breaking it down, telling you, you know, that, hey, take heed to the wisdom of the Lord. You know, the times are short, okay? Things are ramping up, and that means what? The the grip on, you know, on things is getting tighter and tighter. So we need to lock in in the spirit and really uh, apply this wisdom that we're reading to our lives, man, okay? Which is ultimately what? To show what? Fear the Lord and obedience to the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. So hopefully this is edifying to the elected nation of Israel. Uh, before we close out, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, and his only begotten son. Yeah, how will by Shim Yahweh Shai, by Shim Kakadash, that they get double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, who rule well and tell us the truth according to the Bible. And shalom to all the brothers I think that the folk never pushing his word in our righteousness and sincerity. Until next time, to you let me say shalom. Shalom. Sweet little song,